After you understand the basics of Clash Me, it's all about the little details and tricks that get you trophies for the Golden Giant skin and the 3k trophy avatar. So here's 14 small but practical tips that can get you an unfair advantage. Such as when you use the Natureborn, you don't want to place your minis diagonally next to her because you want the Natureborn super to splash onto herself as well since she heals in a plus shape. So you want to stick your minis close to each other to allow for more heals or overheals. When you're playing against the Countess, you need to check how much HP each of your minis have so you will know who Countess will teleport to. For example, if you want the Countess to super the guard, you want to upgrade your Ice Wizard once so he is at 16 HP, which is 1 HP more than the guard at 15. This way, you can ensure that the Countess doesn't go to the most important minis early in the game. But this is nothing compared to the tricks at the end that are just game changing. But first, if your enemy plays a spirit goblin or a prince, a lumberjack is actually a great minion to block it because not only can a lumberjack tank damage, but because lumberjack is so squishy, you can actually activate his KO ability. So that's basically a free lumberjack third star ability to nearby allies. Warden and guard is a great combo. Cause guess what? The splash damage and the plus one damage Warden gets when the shield breaks and the plus 25% hit speed for the shield of minis all that, the shield doesn't have to be casted by the Warden. So the guard himself will deal 6 damage when his shield breaks and giving Warden the plus 1 damage without even getting the Warden's shield. But it gets better, because the second and the third star can grant shield to the other minis, so this can potentially be 2 more of the 6 damage splash and 2 extra damage for the Warden. So this is so much value, guard is basically a must use with the warden. You don't want to place anything against the monk in round 1 because you don't want to risk the chance of that monk being at the same lane as your minis. Because if that happens, the monk basically gets free energy for the entire game. So you want to wait to see where his monk is and then in round 2 avoid that lane. So you eliminate the threat. Drum. Boast abilities are a great counter to the witch because the skeletons can activate boast. So basically, you, you can get insane amounts of boast abilities. For example, the Valkyrie and the Royal Ghost with the heals, Swordsman gets a free super, and Dark Goblin gets extra damage. You can bait the enemy Wave Master super by putting a mini in the back corner. That way, you can protect your ranged carry mini because the Wave Master will super to the corner instead. Garb King and Archer is a great combo. The Archer can benefit a lot from the Barb King Super, especially since the Archer can also get an attack speed buff with the third star, and that can stack to insane amounts. The same can be applied to the Natureborn Deer, but that can just be a bit trickier to pull off, but it's definitely possible. Here's a pretty reliable way of triggering the Countess Backstab. Place the tank in the front at one side and the Countess at the back in the other side. That way, the enemy will be facing the tank and away from the counters. If you are using the monk, place minis on his lane to protect against clash abilities like the bowler and the prince because monk has his silence ability. But the most important tip of all is definitely to subscribe to learn all the tips and tricks I will cover. Anyways, you want to place your ranged carry mini in the back row if convenient, so even if the enemy pulls them with the fisherman, you can place your prince in front of him so the fisherman will get knocked back before he can pull anything. Leaving the fisherman not being able to accomplish fish anything. When you're using the archer, hold down on her to see who her furthest target within range is so you can make sure that she will shoot the enemy mini that you want. It's especially important since she doesn't have infinite range so where you place her will affect which mini she will target. But if you're looking to learn how to play specifically the warden, this video goes way more in depth giving you everything you need to master him.